Safety first. Um, let's cut some shit. And it looks like it's going to have to be modified straight out of the packet. But what's unusual about that? Kind of a game changer for getting an engine in and out. Uh, just slide it in from the front, right? If you take this off. The only problem with that would be that your aircon components are all going to be in the in the way. But if this was a race car and you didn't have aircon stuff, this is brilliant, right? Nice. That was just two little screws. Not even machine thread, just screws. It's the old self tappers. Okay, so now we're going to cross the Blue Alto. I'm not going to talk about it in this video because I talked about it in the last video. Have a look at the brake lines. If you have a CP21S, a CN21S, a CR22S, or a CS22S, Alto works, and you've looked at the firewall you will know that this is not the way it's supposed to be now this area here has actually been cut out by the previous owner and they've installed this column shift unit uh, I don't know where it came from or what it's really doing here but it is what it, it is what it is another thing we have is this here okay now in the next shot you'll see me holding this goldy colored thing that's actually like a sandwich plate. See, where the column shift comes through the wall there, though it's not factory in this car, it was factory in another car that has the same firewall. So, there's a piece of rubber that goes over that hole, covers up the hole, but allows the column shift stuff to come through, and then that plate goes over the top to sandwich it onto the wall if you know what I mean. Now my blue car's got that area cut out. I need to fill that hole back in again because I'm not having column shift. That's where the white car comes in. You need it to be like that. So anywhere from here to there will be fine.
But that worked pretty well. Now if I had some gloves on, I could grab it. Leave that there to cool down for a couple of hours and then um, come back. Why did I cut the area so big? Well, I, I can't weld it right away because I don't have the paint yet. Uh, I can't decide what kind of paint I should paint this with to protect it from rust wobbling all over the place here. So I decided that I cut it larger than it needs to be so that if the edges rust, well, that's not going to be a problem uh, because I'll be cutting this to a smaller size. The other reason I did this is because I wanted I wanted this hole and this hole so I could match them up in the car. So I could bolt it, basically bolt it in like that and then from the back trace the hole onto this piece and then cut that traced piece out and then fit it back into the hole perfectly if you know what I mean. The other option I could do is actually cut or mark this out right yeah goodbye mark that piece out and actually make a panel that bolts in place that would work too so whichever way I'm gonna go with I really needed this bigger area cut out plus I'm cutting up the whole car so I mean cutting out a big space like that isn't such a huge deal anyway is it okay anyway that's that's that <clears throat> can I not do what Ryan did Oh, that shit's sticky. I just need some piano wire to poke through there and then run around the windscreen and it should actually fall out. I need to get this out too. Let's do that. This one comes out really easy. I hope it comes out this easy on mine. Blue one. That was awesome. That looks brand new. Oh, look at that. Easy, mate. Wrap that around. And just go for it. I'm not going to lie, this is easier than I thought it was going to be. Not bad. First time ever attempting removing glass. 
and there's rust down here. This stuff's really horrible. It's like silicon that never sets. That's not good, is it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, should probably try and get those out. Hey. Bet you they're just screws. Yep. Yeah, look at that, just shit. Sweet. Got a spare pair of those now. I wonder if that was caused by the damage of the person who replaced the glass scratching the paint off. Oh, is there more over here? No. You gotta wonder, don't you? Like, that's a bit suspect. Why did it rust there? Moisture getting in. Why did moisture get in? From the inside and then down and stuck? Or did it, um, did the person who fit the aftermarket windscreen not do it properly? Or did, I mean, maybe it wasn't an aftermarket windscreen. Maybe Suzuki didn't do it properly. I don't know. But one thing I do know is that's the end of this episode. Thank you very much for watching all the way to the end. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. If you'd like to see what happens next, press subscribe. If you'd like to get your name on the Garage K door, details are in the description. If you'd like to pick up some merch, that's in the description as well. Check out the Instagrams, the Facebooks, do all of the things. I will see you in the next one later.